Hey, everybody. My name is Joshua T. Barglin, and welcome to a live broadcast. I'm so grateful that you're here today. We're going to get into, why am I holding an apple? I didn't mean to hold this. <laughs> I thought I was holding a Genostem bottle. Speaking of Genostem, Genostem.com, home of the, the most amazing organic peptides uh, on the market. I've not found, actually, I don't even know another source of organic peptides. <laughs> I know about the synthetic peptides and I won't take those. I'm taking the organic kind. That bottle's hiding back there. Um, <laughs> but it is a game changer. I've done, I've produced so much content on Genosim. So literally you can Google it or just go to my website, www.joshuatbargalan.com. And you'll be able to find all kinds of blogs and content. And I highly recommend that you use the search feature on any, if you click on the world's mayor experience, you'll see all of the different types of broadcast uh, and content that's created. And of course you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. You'll see more videos, but use the search engine. Like you can search inside my website in, in any term you want, and it's going to pull up the videos automatically where it's at in the segment that it's speaking about in the video. So it'll take you right to that spot. Um, it's kind of cool. I like it. I want more people to take advantage of it. It's not real clear what it is when you see it because it just says search on top. And I know everyone knows what a search engine is, but this one in particular, it, it's pretty cool. So check it out. Uh, use promo code Mayor to save 20% on your order, the, all your orders, anytime you want to use it. You can use that promo code anytime you want. And there's a money back guarantee also. So today we have a short, sweet, and I don't know, to the point broadcast. As you know, I'm very passionate about independent media. I can sit here and I can tell you very passionate reasons why this matters so much to me. But one word that I'm gonna say that I want to ring through this entire broadcast, this is about freedom. Freedom. And I'm not talking about Patriot Wave Your Flag Freedom. I'm talking freedom. Freedom. Breaking out of the matrix. Being able to make a life for yourself with your gifts, your talents, your intellectual property. Expressing yourself in the way that you feel led. That you feel is best. Not the way someone else told you to. Now, of course, there's a lot of benefits like multiple revenue streams that you can create. And I mean, there's a lot of built-in revenue streams with just you being you. And I can get into that, but I'll get sidetracked and get away from this message. But I'm, I can, if you ever want to have a call with me to really get in deep of what's possible for you, just contact me below. Like wherever you're watching this at, just contact me. You want help? I'm here to serve. I'm here to help. I am so passionate about this because not only do I believe that independent media is the future, we also need to be in the independent media. We need this. And hopefully after this presentation, you'll understand. And I hope that it inspires you to at least reach out to me, to at least take advantage of a free consulting call. I'm not gonna, I'm not charging you for it. There's no tricks. I'm here to serve and help. I'm not trying to charge you. If you ask me to do work for you, yeah, <laughs> I have a fee, but if you're just seeking advice and guidance or just wanting to know what's possible, reach out to me. I'm going to help you. No questions asked. Any, don't look at the reviews on my website. I'm not running a scheme here. This is straight up. I just want to help. So let's get into independent media, pioneering the future and the fourth industrial revolution. I prepared this earlier and it's like, it's just short and to the point, but it matters. So please enjoy. And I'm telling you, this is important information and I will help you privately. Just comment below, I'll help you. As we navigate the complexities of the fourth industrial revolution, marked by advancements in artificial intelligence, robotics, the internet of things, and quantum computing, the role of independent media becomes increasingly pivotal. Not just as a vehicle for unbiased news and information, but as a foundational pillar supporting a diverse range of industries from education to the arts. This revolution offers unprecedented opportunities for teachers, educators, and artists of all varieties to transform into media-first organizations, 
leveraging the power of independent platforms to educate, engage, and inspire. Empowering educators and teachers. Now, a little sidebar. I've been saying this for four years, that teachers will be the new celebrities. I'm telling you, teachers, educators, and artists are going to be the new celebrities. We, we are building the new world, and it's such a cool opportunity, but this independent media is the vehicle. In the realm of education, the shift towards a media-first approach opens doors to innovative teaching mythology. <laughs> it opens doors to innovative teaching methodologies. Independent media platforms can serve as a dynamic educational tool, offering interactive content that transcends traditional textbooks. Teachers and educators can harness these platforms to distribute the a lot, uh, uh. Teachers and educators can harness these platforms to distribute curriculum, initiate discussions on global issues, and connect with students across geographical boundaries. This not only democratizes education, but it also prepares the students for the digital age, fostering a culture of continuous learning and critical thinking. I really need to get glasses. Woo. Okay. The potential for collaboration between independent media and educational institutions is vast. Through podcasts, webinars, and interactive articles, educators can contribute to a global classroom, sharing knowledge and resources that are accessible to anyone with an internet connection. This collaboration ecosystem encourages a participatory, participatory approach to education. Speaking of education, I should learn to read. When, where learners are not just consumers of information, but active contributors. Let me read that again. This collaboration ecosystem encourages a participatory, participatory approach to education, where learners are not just consumers of information, but active contributors. Gosh, I love that and wish I didn't butcher it when I said it. But this means something. This means something. This is a welcoming, inviting world that independent media wants to create. And we need your voice of truth, your voice of reason to help usher this in. I can't be the only one. I'm not popular and I'm not famous yet. Maybe never, I don't know. I don't know what God has in store for me. But I'm here to serve and for God to use me in every way that he wants me to. So right now it's to talk about independent media and the importance of it, whether I'm popular or not. It doesn't matter. These are the facts. This is coming and this is exciting. If you're scared of it, it won't be fun, but there's no reason to be. This platform that you can build is literally the vehicle that can make your dreams come true. But you got to have it built first. This new digital age we're going into, and I know we're already in one, I'm telling you, like, this is freedom. Okay, keep on going. So active contributors. Okay, so revolutionizing the arts. So when I initially came up with this concept and the, the creation I created, I'm not gonna tell you the name of it yet. Um, some people know what it is. But when I created that, it was for the artists that sucked at business. It was for people that had no business skills. It was to build a platform that if you were awful at business, that you would be set up to monetize and all you had to do was create. So this was created for the artist. And it just now has become, I mean, with my passion and the, 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 the people that I care about and the people I'm fighting for, it's for them too. But a lot of them are artists. In fact, I think we're all artists. Okay. For artists, the fourth industrial revolution offers a canvas without borders. Independent media platforms provide artists of all varieties from musicians and painters to digital creators, an avenue to showcase their work, reach wider audiences and engage with fans directly. By adopting a media first strategy, artists can maintain creative control, bypass traditional gatekeepers in the industry and explore new revenue opportunities through digital exhibitions, online performances and virtual wor workshops. Moreover, Independent media amplifies the voices of underrepresented artists, fostering diversity and inclusion within the arts community. These platforms can host a myriad of perspectives 
enabling artists to share their stories, challenge societal norms, and spark meaningful conversations. In this way, independent media not only supports the arts as an industry, but also as a crucial medium for social change and cultural expression. <clears throat> Creating a media first culture. Now, I wanna rehash this real quick. I'm serious when I say I wanna help you. I'm not making this up. Like I'm sincere about it. And I, I mean, again, you can contact the people that are on my website and you can ask them about this if you, I mean, I, I just wanna be make it clear that I'm not gonna enter you into a click funnel. Like I'm here to help and support, and I'm here to serve because I believe that this is important. I, I mean, God, I hope it's important. Like, I, 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 all I can tell you uh, from my experience with this for, for the last several years, I've been screaming that we need to become independent media and not alternative media that's just a well-funded buzzword i'm talking about independent truly independent media one person media organizations and if you have a team great even better and i can show you how that works but one person media organizations and there's a reason why because of the the people that are mentally ill that don't work well with people they need an avenue well me i needed that i needed this platform like this is the way i'm able to reach the world this is the way that I'm able to contribute. And like, without that, <laughs> I mean, what do I do? So, I mean, media has been a vehicle for my sanity. Media has been a revenue, I mean, not just providing, but, but sanity. It's therapeutic. I'm getting to be myself. I don't have to adjust myself to fit into someone else's world. I just get to be me. And I don't know about you, but I'm tired of trying to be what someone else wants me to be. I just want to be me. And that's what I'm being for better or worse, for better or worse. But I get to be me. And for most of my life, that seemed impossible. And so because of independent media, I'm able to be myself, express myself freely. And at the same time, get to live or die with my actions meaning if i screw up and i do something stupid it's on me i get to handle the way i handle it. there's no protection but at the same time i don't have anyone getting in my way i'm the only one that can get in my way and i believe the same should be for you like we all have a hero's journey to walk media like this i mean depending on what your goals are and i don't know any goal out there unless if it's to completely unplugged that doesn't involve media anyway Okay, creating a media first culture. Transitioning to a media first organization entails more than just utilizing digital platforms. It requires a fundamental fundamental shift in mindset. For educators, it means viewing media as an integral part of the curriculum, not just a supplementary tool. For artists, it involves seeing themselves as content creators and storytellers, leveraging media to connect with their audience on a deeper level. Success in this endeavor relies on mastering the art of storytelling, understanding the nuances of digital platforms and engaging with audiences in an authentic and meaningful way. It also demands a commitment to quality and integrity, ensuring that the content not only captures attention, but also enriches lives. As the fourth industrial revolution reshapes our world, Independent media stands at the forefront of this transformation, offering a platform for innovation, education, and artistic expression. For teachers and educators and artists, the move towards, the move towards media first organizations is not just an opportunity, but a necessity in the digital age. By embracing independent media, they can amplify their impact, inspire global audiences, and play a pivotal role in shaping the future. Woo! Reading out loud and practicing. By the way, thank you for letting me do that and still listening. I'm learning how to read copy and I'm learning how to read all kinds of different things, including my own writing. <laughs> so reading out loud is not something that I do very well. And so by preparing these things ahead of time and not memorizing, this gives me practice. So thank you for uh, putting up with me. There's a lot of media content on my website. I've already mentioned my platform. There's a ton of stuff. 
Um, but there's going to be a lot more. I'm going to be doing a lot more independent media things uh, because I really like you're already doing media anyway. <laughs> like you're already doing media. You're already in the media. Now, are you being used by the media or are you a user of the media? Because there's a lot of people that spend a lot of time on social platforms, but they're not really moving themselves anywhere. And I get it. Like sometimes it's just fun to like fart around and do stupid stuff. I get it. But you're already in the media. Think about how many profiles you manage. And if you have a website too, oh my God, how are you doing all that? But what happens if you take all of your intellectual property that you have sprinkled out on all of these different websites and all of these different podcasts, live stream, I got a blog over here, I got my content over here. What if you all just centralized it to one location and you used all those additional platforms as a marketing tool, the free marketing tool that it is, and just drive traffic to your website? Is it hard? Well, yeah, it's hard. But if you're betting your career on social media fame, what are you going to do if they shut down your account? And it can happen to anyone. It's happened to me a bunch. <laughs> but you're probably not going to be talking about some of the crazy stuff that I used to, even though it's all proven to be true now. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. I... I'm very passionate about the subject. I love talking about it, but more importantly, I love to serve in this capacity. Um, so, you know, reach out, no questions asked. I'm not sneaky. I mean, if you want to make a donation, you can make a donation, but I'm here like where I teach media first, I'm a serve first guy too. So God bless you. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Oh, wait, 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 one more thing. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with somebody, tag somebody. I don't know, but thank you for your support. It means a lot. I got a big old mission. I don't know how I'm going to accomplish it, but I'm going to give it my best anyway. God bless you. And if I can help you in anything independent media related, let me know. Take care.